guys, welcome back to the channel for a little extra content on a Saturday. Today I have the brand new 42 millimeter stainless steel County Com slash Maritac 500 meter automatic diver. This is the DC 50, but the difference is this has got a DLC coating. I've reviewed these before. I reviewed the plain stainless steel DC 50 and the titanium version. This is the final batch of these. So let's check this thing out. All right, guys, we'll get into this, but first check out my Amazon shopping channel and for any of the other watches I've reviewed on my channel. As y'all know, I get a really small commission if you buy anything from my Amazon store. So whatever you do so, I definitely appreciate it. So this is their regular kind of like uh, Pelican style case that you get with these DC-50s. I love these cases. They're great for like a little coin tray or something if you want to use it for that. I absolutely love these things, man. Really cool. I mean, you get minimal stuff. You obviously get a little care and maintenance card. And guys, that is it. And here's the watch. There you go. Actually, I left the sticker on here. Um, there's a little sticker on the crystal, but anyway. So there's that. And uh, there's the, kind of the first look at it. So what I'll do is I'm going to give you all the seven specs you need to know. I'll put the rest of the stuff down there in the description field. This is not going to be a full review by any means, uh, only because I have reviewed two other versions of this. And besides the material that's being used, uh, stainless steel or titanium, they're basically the exact same watch. So let me go ahead and take this thing out. Obviously, here is the uh, little cards you get right there. There you go. And um, County Com is literally, I'm, I always get a little bit confused about County Com or Maritac. I'm not quite sure what the, I think the company name is County Com. And I think they use Maritac parts, like the bracelet is a Maritac bracelet. It gets a little bit confusing to me for some reason. Anyway, like I said, I'll tell you all the seven specs you need to know. And then I'll put the rest down there in the description field. And again, not going to be a full review, only because I've literally reviewed this watch. God, this will be the third time now. So, all right. So you're looking at a, let me bring it up here, a 42 millimeter stainless steel DLC coated case. It's 15.8 millimeters thick. It's 50 millimeters lug to lug. Comes on a 22 millimeter stainless steel bracelet with DLC coating. Water resistance is 500 meters, which is 1,650 feet. Uh, you get a Miyota 9015 movement. Of course, Miyota is made by Citizen with a 42 hour power reserve. And you get a domed 3.5 millimeter sapphire with anti reflective coating crystal. Again, if you want to know all the other specs, check down there in the description field. And again, this is not going to be a full review, guys. But I like it. I'm not normally a big fan of DLC or IP coated cases, only because uh, this uh, coating can scratch off. It is pretty hard, don't get me wrong. The coating it, itself is hard, but it can scratch off. That's probably more so the IP coated uh, cases uh, or the vapor deposition coated cases. This is pretty nice, man. So there you go, there's your Maritac logo on the bracelet. Let me go ahead and um, open this bracelet up. And it does have security pushers right there. And you do get a milled scissor clasp. Here is the, uh, right there, there's a the case back. I still have a sticker on the thing. But there's a case back with the big old uh, County Com Trident. Love that thing. It is heavy at about 200 grams, which is literally my absolute limit. I never really want to go over about 180 or, or 200 grams. Um, but you definitely know you're wearing something on your wrist. It has a nice presence to it. Uh, just a fantastic looking watch. Uh, I love these things. Um, I love the dual crowns. You get the helium escape valve over there at 3 o'clock right there. Pretty cool. Of course, there is your crown for the internal bezel. Let me go ahead and unscrew it. And you'll see the bezel spin around. There you go. It is bi-directional. Go ahead and put it. I can't really see if that's perfect. There we go. You push it back in, screw it back down. Let me go ahead and wind it up a little bit. Definite stopping point on that crown as well. And both of these, I believe, are signed. Um, yeah, they are both signed. Pretty cool. All right, so let me go wind it up a little bit. You get a nice Miyota movement, so you know this thing is going to last forever. There you go. It's ticking now. All right. Big, huge, orange plunger style uh, hour and minute hand. And of course, the second hand itself has a nice little orange pop to it. There's your date window. That's a little bit obscured by the uh, hour hand right now, but there's your date window. Slightly past 4 o'clock. Of course, you got the little helium symbol right above the 6 o'clock index. There you go. In fact, let me go take off this. Uh, let me take off this. 
plastic on the crystal so y'all can see this thing a little bit better. There we go. There we go. Much better. So again, you got the uh, the Trident Maritak County Com logo up there at 12. You got some writing here. The helium um, symbol right down there above six. The left-hand side of the case, not really much to see, man. Nothing to see here, guys. Uh, nice crystal. Really thick crystal. You got a little bit of magnification, as you can see right there. Good looking watch, man. Now, what's really going to pop is the loom on this thing. Good grief. The loom is just ridiculous. It's ridiculous on all of these uh, DC-50s. Really nice bracelet. Again, really anything else I want to show you about the bracelet? That's really about it. Of course, it says stainless steel right there on the, uh, the scissor clasp. I don't know if I have that upside down or not. I can't tell. No, I think it's right. There you go. There you go. And guys, just a really incredibly waterproof watch with fantastic loom on it. Um, these are very well made. They feel nice and heavy uh, and substantial. Not that a watch feeling heavy means it's a good watch. Don't think that. But uh, it just feels very well made. The tolerances are nice and tight on the bracelet as with the case. Um, the dial is free of any sort of um, like lint, dust, any sort of imperfections. Fantastic dial. Love the hands. So let me go ahead and try this thing on real quick. I told you it was going to be a short review. So here we go. Now we have, what, four micro adjusts on the bracelet. I don't know if y'all can see those or not. So it's a little bit loose on my wrist. Man, that's a good looking watch, man. Makes me feel like Batman for, <laughs> for some reason. Love this thing. All right, let me go take it off. Let's go ahead and kill the studio light and kill these monitors. And let me show you this fantastic X1 loom, the Super Luminova X1 loom. Man, I love just about anything County Com makes. I really do. They do such a good job. They're based out of uh, Sunnyvale, California, I believe. Mike over there. Uh, really, really good stuff. There we go. Loom Monster. Look at that, man. Absolute Loom Monster. These are such cool watches. I mean, they feel like they're like a Japanese-made watch. They don't feel like an American-made product. I don't know if that, that sounds bad or not. I mean, the quality is fantastic on these things. Really, really nice. All right, let me go ahead and cut everything back on. Tell me what you think of these County Com watches. I know a lot of you absolutely love them, uh, and rightfully so. They're just really good watches. They're kind of on that sweet spot so far as cost goes. I believe this one is either $5.99 or $5.49. I can't remember which one it is. Let me take a look here. I think it is... Yeah, $549. So you're getting a lot of watch. You're getting a fantastic movement, sapphire crystal, um, really nice internal rotating bezel, bi-directional, uh, killer loom application, the helium escape valve. Normally helium escape valves are over there on the other side, but they have to put that right here next to the two um, crowns. Uh, screw down crowns, nice bracelet. There are your micro adjusts again. I forgot to show you. There are your micro adjusts. Um, and you got the DLC coating on it, so it's going to last forever. Nice case back, obviously screw down case back as well. Let me see if I can show you that real quick. There you go, screw down case back with that Trident logo. So guys, what else do you need, man? Anyway, if you wanna get one of these, head on over to County Com's website and pick this thing up for $549. I'll make sure to put a link down there in the description field for you. And as always, make sure you like and subscribe if you like my content, and I really hope you do. And uh, guys, that's been about it. Uh, I will have another review for you Sunday. All right, talk to y'all later. Take care. Bye -bye.